Welcome to Classic Game Room, coming to you from the R Zone for the review of the R Zone XPG. Is it better than this thing? Let's find out. This is the R Zone that most of us know and fear a horrible head mounted alien torture device that sends your brain into a dimension of red blurry terror, otherwise known as the R Zone. It would shoot a red light through this crappy LCD game, bouncing it off of this thing into your eyeball, you'd play it with this, it, it's, it's terrible. This is one of the worst things ever created. Let's pull the game out here. That's what an R Zone game looks like. It looks like awful. Did you know that Tiger Electronics made numerous R Zone models though? You might not. I have one here, the R Zone XPG, the Extreme Pocket game this one comes uh, comes packed with star wars jedi adventure we're going to send luke skywalker's brain into the r zone i haven't even opened this up yet so we're going to open this up on camera this was sent to the show by andrew in lusby maryland so thank you andrew this is prominently featured in ultra massive video game console guide Two. In fact, I photographed it while it was still in the packaging. I'm going to open it and then photograph it while it's out of the packaging to complete the book and complete this video. So let's fire this up. There's never an easy way to open these things. I'm going to try to open it without damaging the packaging too much. Look at that. The R-Zone games come in a little protective plastic case. You wouldn't want to damage it. And this... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is going to be awful. I can I can feel it. The R-Zone XPG, the extreme pocket game. Back when everything was extreme. Ooh. Luxurious. It's like one of those old TVs. <laughs> I know some of you know what I'm talking about. Wow, this... This looks awful. I'm expecting it to be awful. Honestly, I would be disappointed if it was good. Then I'd have to rewrite all my R-Zone jokes. Here's a pet peeve of mine. Battery compartments that require a screwdriver to open. Which means I have to go and find a damn screwdriver. After finding a screwdriver, which was of course stuck in the R-Zone, I have inserted four AAA batteries. Look at this, they placed a protective piece of plastic over the R-Zone death mirror. Let's take that off. Did that come come off all the way? Wow, this thing's a piece of junk. Ooh, is everyone ready? Because I'm sure this is going to be far more Jar Jar than Lando, but let's find out for sure by playing some Star Wars Jedi Adventure. Let's plug it into the R-Zone, lining up the Death triangles. Whoa! Look at that! It's doing something! It's melting my brain! And hopefully yours as well. Well, alright! That looks fantastic! What, what am I looking at here? What do you do? How do you play this game? So one button fires right. The other fire's left. It looks about the same in person as it does on screen. Just to say, it doesn't look very good. I'm gonna try to clean that film off of there. I'm not really sure what to use. It's like the sticky stuff from the sticker. That probably should have been removed at least 19 years ago. All right, well, I just hit this with some goo gun. As it turns out, 20-year-old sticker residue is really hard to get off this thing. So I think I might have made it worse, if you can make the R-Zone worse. I'll have to uh, try again later. But beforehand, let's play some Battle Arena to Shinden on the R-Zone. I'm sure this will be amazing. The R-Zone is terrible, but that guy's t-shirt is awesome. Love that t-shirt. Is everyone ready for the ultimate R-Zone experience? It's Battle Arena Tashinden 
on the R zone. Let's see how well this thing plays a fighting game. I'm expecting great things in the, I think, even blurrier mirror. What have I done? All right, can everyone see that? What you do here is you select your fighter. There's a few to choose from. And for what it's worth, I actually cleaned the screen off a bit more. It, it, it just looks like this. This is just what the R zone looks like. It looks like terrible because it is. Let's uh, choose her. I think that's a she. Um, what does that do? Oh, oh, she's, someone just threw a rock at me? Well, Uppercut! Do the fireball. What are you. <laughs> this is unimaginably awful. This is as bad as I expected it to be. I must say, I'm pleased. If it was any better than this, I would be sad. But it's not. It's every bit as bad as it looks. This is hard. Is it, is it better if you film it from the other direction? Can you see that? There it is. If I could find a way to play this in reverse. I mean, really, how much worse could it be? I don't even know which character I'm playing, and I'm not sure that it matters. The R Zone. XPG. So, thanks again to my friend Andrew from Lusby, Maryland, for sending the Extreme Pocket game and some pretty extreme games along with it. It's a remarkable piece of technology to avoid. You know, I think it might actually be better in the R zone because my standards are that much lower. The R zone XPG, I'm going to have one of my techie friends look at this and see if we can fix the mirror because I'm sure that'll make all the difference. Thanks for watching. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra massive video game console guide 230 pages of video games on amazon.com retro megatrex and how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck and jesus number two welcome to the patreon lord carnage club being shouted from a turbo volcano Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.